Hi, for this video what I want to do is show you how to quickly find the relative frequency in a frequency distribution using the TI-84 graphing calculator. This will work in any version of the TI-84 as well as the TI-83 graphing calculators. So first let's talk about how do we find the relative frequency. So recall the relative frequency is the frequency divided by the sum of the frequencies. So what you could do is individually go through and find the sum of all of these values. And then you could take each of these values independently and divide them by the sum. But it's a lot easier if you use technology to help you. So what we're going to do is grab our calculator and I'm going to have these numbers here. I already have them written down on a piece of paper. So if you wanna pause the video, write the numbers down really quickly and then work along with me or else you can just watch and probably follow along as well. So in my calculator, what I'm gonna do is hit the stat button and I'm gonna go into edit. So stat and edit, and right now I don't have anything in here. If I had data in here that I wanted to get rid of, all I have to do is highlight at the top and hit clear and it will erase all of the data. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put in all the values. We had nine, 15, 14, 10, six, three, and three. So after you put the data in, you can do one of two things. You can go directly to find your relative frequency, which is what I'm gonna do. Remember that to find our relative frequency, we wanna take everything that is in our L1. So we wanna take everything that's in L1, and I do that by second number one, and it actually types in L1, divided by, and we wanna divide it by the sum of the frequency, so we can hit second and stat and go over to math and we can see that sum is option five. And then we can say which list we want to sum. So we're gonna sum L1. And then all we have to do is hit enter and it automatically gives me all of the answers. So these would be my values that I put down. Um, the, these two are both rounded, it is 0.23 forever and ever, and this is 0.1667. The others are nice concise decimals, so I'm just gonna round to four places and go ahead and put them down. So I end up with 0 0.15, 0 0.25, approximately 0 0.2333. And this one is 0 0.1667, 0 0.1, 0 0.05, and 0 0.05. So now you have your work down. Um, if you do have to show your work and know what the frequency is, you can also find that in your calculator by doing second and quit. And then we can go back into our second and stat where it says list and over to math. And we can choose option five, the sum. And I just hit the keypad, the number five, and then hit sum of L1. So if you wanted to know what the sum was, it was 60, and that's what we were dividing all of our values by. So if you need the sum of the list, you can find that independently. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics that you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.